What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with some more Halo Combat Evolved. Evolved. Um, so today we're going to be playing the mission Halo. Uh, we've just crash landed. We've got Sergeant Johnson and a couple of surviving Marines with us this time around. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab that. And we're going to take the pistol. So we'll take a DMR and pistol since we're going to be doing a lot of ranged Warning. combat. Um, covenant drop it's been a minute since I did my last video on this uh, single player version kills. 3. Uh, I talked about the blind wolves. Uh, we will be using them to our advantage. Unfortunately, they are innocent wildlife that will be getting murdered for our own benefits. But that's okay. Um... Other probably Still have that frame rate drop. Somebody said that's because the game does not support 60 frames a second at this time. Uh, I'm not sure if I drop my frames if that would help or not. What are you doing? Uh, some brutes are getting dropped off behind us. Assault rifle also would have been a good option for taking that out. Uh, these brutes are fairly easy to pick off. They just take two headshots. As long as I take my time to aim or something. It's a little bit weird with the frames there. Except for that guy. He'll probably be a pain in the butt to kill. Uh, hopefully I've kind of made them think twice about crossing that bridge. If they do decide to, though, there's only a couple of them, and we'll be hopefully done with these scrimmatures and stuff up ahead. I have played this mission a couple of times. I ended up dying a lot for some reason uh, last time, and just with all the frames and stuff, I decided to re-record this uh, for a better experience for you guys. God. Okay. That shot should have hit. Alright, that one's better. I can't see my radar. Oh no, those brutes are... Oh, wait, no, he's still, like, way back there. You know, and that, I guess that's one of the things that I'm having issues with is this DMR actually isn't... It's got a range to it. It's got a range limit. So I can see further with it, and I feel like, because of other Halo games, I should be able to shoot that far, and I can't. Uh, they, It just won't operate at that range. I well, like to pick something else up. So that's something I gotta try and remember with this too, and it's really hard for I'm me to keep that memory because I'd say kill. I can see him. See this is a designated marksman rifle. It should be able to hit over there, and it can't. It's just literally incapable of it. Which I should have used. The other one. Slow motion deaths. Good to see you, sir. Welcome to the party. Yeah, it is a party. It's a mess, sir. We're scattered all over the place. Don't worry, Sergeant. We'll stay here until evac arrives. All right, let's get some increased range on our sensor here. Okay, sure, I'll take a sniper rifle if you insist. Shooting at me with a carbine here, and I can't hit him because of the angle it's moving down at. Can you guys believe that on my previous playthrough of this, on the, the very first one I did, when I didn't record it, when I was just doing it for my own fun, I killed eight brutes with a single shot from the sniper rifle. Eight. I, I went out and counted their corpses after I did it. It was in the very, very last group of brutes for the level, in that uh, area where you're rescuing, 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 rescuing the marines from uh, the three different holdout points they have. And have him call an Echo 419. Okay, those are hitting. I know they are. There we go. Anyways, at that point when you're uh, rescuing them from there, 
as in the one where all the rocks are and it was dropping them all off and they literally just all drop right on top of one another and uh, the shots all ricocheted off and killed them all I don't know, I feel DMR should be able to kill a grunt in one hit. <laughs> no matter where it hits. It just. The way the weapon's set up, it just feels like it's that beefy. This one should be the one that goes behind. Yeah, I wonder if that's my issue is my frames are actually too high for good gameplay or something. So that's what somebody was saying is that the game couldn't play at 60 frames, so that's probably what it is. It feels like every time I play this it's more and more noticeable. Um, I know it's just as noticeable this time as it was last time, but... I feel like elites will move a lot more in this version too, or in this mod. You tell him, Sarge. The skirmisher did get up here, but he didn't kill anybody, so there's that. There we go. I guess two sniper shots just isn't enough to take out that particular elite. Oh, the first one actually killed him. Didn't think that would happen, so I shot him a second time. Oh! Oh, that did hit me. There is a dead marine up there now. So they got a couple of the marines up here with the brute weaponry. Brute weaponry is devastating, especially against these marines when they're all clustered up like this. I I wanted to kill him. This is Pelican Echo 419. Anybody reading me? Repeat. We do. Any UNSC we just don't want to respond. Roger, Echo 419. This is Fireteam Charlie. We read you 5 by 5 That UFO hammer? Roger, Fireteam Charlie. Good to hear from you. If you're not too busy, foe hammer, we could use a lift. We have survivors to transport to the command shuttle. I'm on my way. All right. More lifeboats. They're coming in fast. If those lifeboats make it down, the Covenant are going to be right on top of them. Where's their lifeboat? Oh, we need you to disengage oh, there's your lifeboats. Warthog. The Master Chief and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. Roger, Cortana. <laughs> How did you get that one out of there? Okay, that was impressive. Okay, Warthog deployed. Settle up and give them hell. Roger, Bohammer. Stand by to evac survivors and transport them to safety. That's affirmative. Echo 419. I guess on their model that's supposed to like swing in or something, that window. The Master Chief and I need some backup. Can you spare a few men? So we can take the Warthog. Or we can take the Gun Goose. Ready to roll. I think we're gonna take the Gun Goose. Look at those assault rifles on there. They need us. 
If you can eliminate Covenant forces guarding one of their transceivers, I can relay your signal so that you can infiltrate the Covenant battle net. Oh, beautiful. So we triggered the blind wolf, so I'm gonna get out of there now so the blind wolves hopefully start attacking the uh, remaining covenant. Oh god. Mucho covenant over there. Ah, oh, they massacred him. There's some at the bottom though. Oh yeah, there's the big herd. They'll do the trick. I love the grenades on the gun goose. I've hacked into the Covenant battle. So, I'll be honest. I tend to think of the blind wolves as distractions, but I guess if you get the right amount of them, they're pretty deadly. Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. So, I'm not sure what that does inspecting this, but it does activate it or something. I do believe. We need to find where the lifeboats landed. It's kind of goofy too, it disappears when you're looking up at it. So yeah, I'm not really sure what that does. There's two terminals on here too, to my knowledge, and as far as I know, that one can't be interacted with that uh, radio formation. antenna. Someone but the first it, terminal's in here. So it must lead somewhere. Ooh. All right, so here's our first terminal. Uh, this one's from 343 Guilty Spark, monitor of installation 04. Most curious, several ships have arrived in orbit. Many seemingly damaged. Upon further inspection, they seem to be ships armed for battle, and it would seem they were in one not too long ago. Although I must say, I do not recognize the damage matching anything in my records. Preliminary scans show damage from primitive ballistic weaponry. Somewhat surprising given what seems to be the sophisticated nature of their technology. Oh, I do hope these visitors show restraint. This ring serves many functions and a belligerent warring visitor could lead to some most catastrophic consequences. Curiously, their technology upon further inspection is similar to that of my creators. Is it possible some survived the firing on the Halo Array so many years ago and have returned? No, their technology seems too simplistic and more primitive than that of my creators. I will monitor and wait to see what these visitors do. So, 343, um, you know, he... If you guys aren't familiar, basically 343 and stuff, um, and the rest of the Halo rings and stuff, well, the Forerunners died. They basically didn't know what was going on. They didn't know if all the Forerunners survived or died or what happened. Um, you know, they all were basically left to actually guess, and they just kind of assumed that all the Forerunners died. And he recognizes that the Covenant have actually somewhat backward engineered the Forerunner technology, but he's not actually sure that himself even. Oh no. Oop. So let's see here. You're done. You're done. Oh. That second one almost caught me off guard. Of course, I got really cocky with the first one. I was like, I don't need to move yet. I don't need to move yet. And that almost hit me in the face. I see another grunt or something up here. Oh. Every time I forget about those guys. That was a sneaky spot. It really is. I played, like I said, this is my now third time playing this mission. Once for fun, once for bad recording, and once for this recording. 
And every single time, those guys have caught me. Oop, he ducked. He's gonna run inside, I guess. Okay, so that scrimmature is up there. It's a jackal. That's not far enough. Fireworks. <laughs> oh, shoot. So I think that was probably the brute that I thought ran up in here. Yeah, it is. Alright, so we're going to take over that ghost instead now. Um, I do believe... It's been a long time since I've played just Halo 1. It's been years, but I do believe... That, um... The ghosts didn't have boost. I want to say... It's been so long, I can't remember for sure. Uh, you know, it's at least since anniversary, I should say. Oh, no, I, I guess Master Chief Collection it was the last time I played Halo 1. But I don't think they had boost. I want to say they didn't. And maybe I'm just crazy and I'm imagining that they didn't have it, but I don't think There's they did. I think that was from Halo 2 on. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. And I know some of you watching this video are like rolling your eyes and like you call yourself a Halo fan. You don't know what it got uh, boost. I should know. You're right. I deserve all that crap. <laughs> Um, I also think part of this uh, mission is kind of based off the uh, Halo book, where some of the Marines kind of like held up and stuff. They'll need your help. Okay, so we're just gonna pop. So the blind wolves are now going at it with the uh, covenant. Um, they're not moving too much over there. There's not a whole lot of covenant around them, unfortunately. But that should be changing in just a minute here. Can I? There's just some annoying plasma turrets up on this building straight ahead of me. Now, wondering if I can disable those from over here before I get a whole bunch of people on me. Ah, uh, that was the grunt exploding. Uh, where did all the blind wolves go? What the heck? Oh, I'm gonna get killed by freaking grunts because of that plasma pistol. That's one thing that's always pretty much held true about the uh, ghost is you gotta be careful what you get caught up on. Cause that can get you killed real quick. That's it, that's always, that stands true no matter what Halo game you're in.
The Marines are just inside. Careful of the guards. Pretty sick of your crap. Oh, that's where all the... They all went and got killed by the turret. That's sad, actually. For a couple different reasons. Come on. See you. Come here, kiss my bullet. Stop moving. There we go. Whatever. He's done moving now. I do like these shielding and stuff on here. It's pretty slick looking. Kind of stinks how it's only two instead of three, but uh, definitely seems like a lot more effective of a weapon, or at least I'd imagine it would be. I haven't actually used them on anything yet. They got the uh, Covenant shield thing from one of the Halo games. This is our second terminal, second data pad. This one's from Bractanus, the uh, commander of the CCS Purity of Spirit. He's a brood elder. It has been long since our pack has had the opportunity to partake in a hunt. The Sangheili ships are cramped and despite their so-called honor, they eat as if they were grunts, fresh off the teat. When we had our own ships, we had plenty of meat to rip apart, and feasts were plentiful. So when we were ordered to hunt the humans down, we did with fervor, finally, fresh meat for our bellies. That's really hard to do that that low. <clears throat> Not the most tender and certainly bonier than we prefer, but finally a real meal. We have rounded several survivors from the human ship and imprisoned them within the runes left by the gods in the valley outside the forward base. Several of them we didn't even bother to imprison. We just hung them up to bleed before we ripped them apart to feed the pack. We store their primitive gear too. It's well suited to tenderizing their flesh. There is no need to dirty our own gear beating their lifeless corpses. Today is a good day for the pack indeed. Praise the forerunners. Ah, oh, that's really tough. God. <clears throat> Feel like I need to drink some water after that. Pretty gruesome scene though, to be sure. Here, is this tender enough for you, asshole? Making me read like that, jerk. <laughs> Gosh, okay, so we gotta go back to that first building over here. We gotta backtrack to get uh, another group of marines now that those turrets are disabled. That's my big thing, is what I found is that those turrets are really annoying even at this base, so I had to... I like to try and take them out first. Oh, gosh! Where did that plasma grenade go? It went straight up in the air. I don't like that. Oh, slow bitch. Oh, they got me. Let them get behind me. Thank God. I didn't think he was gonna go. I'm pretty sure Marines ended up dead though. Haha, <laughs> groin shot. Too late. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Marines didn't die. I think there was only two in that last building, wasn't there? Cool, maybe everybody did survive. That would be neat. One more group of Marines to go, Chief. Alright, collect some supplies here. Reload our snipper rifle. Got 
one last turret here, so we're just gonna disable that from over here. <laughs> the blood on the wall behind him. Fantastic. You gotta really appreciate that. How old of a game Halo is. You can kill a guy in a vehicle, and if that vehicle's gotten opened back like that turret, the blood will actually splatter on the wall behind them. I mean, it might not be the prettiest blood, it might not be the most impressive, but for the for the for how old Halo is and how rapidly games advance and stuff, that's pretty advanced for, uh, for that age, you know, for how long ago this was made. Especially when you consider that in, like, cutscenes and stuff, um, Bungie employees had to actually, like, walk the characters around. Uh, buildings and stuff. So, like, when you see Captain Keys walking around the autumn, that was like a bungee employee playing him back in their little basement in Chicago. Um, let's see here, we got some ammo. We got some stuff with the DMR. That's all of the Marines, Chief. Good work. So, we got a pretty decent sized squad of Marines going now. I don't have a vehicle anymore either. I think she'll drop me off a warhog and stuff though. I would definitely want a warhog for this next segment. It's pretty rough. There it is. I was like, where is she? Once again, Marines having issues getting into the Pelican. One thing always holds true. Nothing like everybody talking at once, right? Is that thing still alive? Can I get a Wraith tank? Ah, oh, that would be nice. I've never used a Wraith tank in Halo 1 before. Is that going to be a possibility here? No? Maybe it was destroyed. I just, it didn't look like it actually blew up the whole way. It looked like it was just heavily damaged. Bunch of supplies and stuff in there. Some survival survivors tried to huddle up and uh, make a last stand. Echo two of five to Cortana. We are on our way. Thanks for clearing that LZ. Easier said than done. Inbound Phantoms, Chief. So the Marines actually did a lot of the work there. There's a goshog here somewhere, and I want the goss. Well, uh, yeah, the goshog's better than the rocket hog for sure. Let's roll. 
Holy crap, what was that? Beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you there. I think this is the goshog, maybe? That looks like a goshog. Definitely, it looks like a goshog to me. What do you guys think? It's kinda damaged. That's okay, though. We're gonna kinda damage the Covenant, so... It's even. Look at it, it's raining elites and skirmishers and jackals and whatever the heck is actually falling out of there. Guns and everything. <laughs> Just one elite drops out at the end. You can keep shooting it, I don't care if you blow it up or not. Another hey, Groot, head. Yep, yeah, there you go. Proceed. Look that far ahead. Oh god, it's behind me! Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, drive over here. Pretty cool human base. Hey! Oh god. <laughs> I think they shot a teammate. You team killing fucktards. So what we got back here. We got all sorts of goodies hidden here. Motion sensor seven motion sensor sensitivity. Um oh there's a second data pad. So I lied. I guess there's the data pads and the terminal. So maybe there's another terminal I missed. So it turns out it was more than just us who got here lucky crashing here. Fohammer, after she picked us up, spotted the perfect place for us to regroup. A huge structure built into the side of a mountain. Those Covenant bastards had the same idea. But lucky for us, those dumb bugs are so hell-bent on hunting us down, they didn't think we were we were Marines could come on in, busting down their doors and turning their base into ours. We stormed the base and took it from them like candy from a baby. Only downside is they didn't bring in any of those fancy portable recharge stations. With those and all the weapons we captured, we'd be able to put up one hell of a up one hell of a defense. But this is a good place. Perfect sight lines. Landing areas for our birds. Now if we could just only figure out how to close these goddamn doors to close off the main entrances. Speaking of doors, it's even got an interior space where we can retreat to and keep our wounded. But we haven't been able to find a way to unlock them yet. Looks like that door may also lead to an upper level perfect area for me to post up with my sniper rifle and for us to set up some anti-air defenses yeah this place will do just right um my only issue with this is this is supposed to be sarge who um who posted that but sarge met with us so i mean we've been moving through the area pretty fast i don't really believe that he could have come here and cleared out this whole base with a squad of marines and the time it took us to get here Oh, uh, it's a focus rifle. I was like, what the fuck was that? Oh, that was terrifying noise. Uh, okay. We're gonna need a plasma pistol here, too, pretty quick. 
still can't believe I died there. A lot of red just disappeared off the motion tracker. I was just gonna stand there and I realized just how many grenades were on the ground when that grunt fell. Okay. Um. He's got a plasma pistol, but it's not the kind I need. Where's my sniper? Might have to go. I want to check these grunts on the ground down here, just to make sure. I might have to- oh yeah, there's one. Okay. Kinda stinks, I don't really want to give up that weapon, but we're gonna need to. There will be other snipers. Actually, if I remember, I'll grab it on my way back down too. I just am gonna need this when I get to the top. Alrighty. I'm ready. I'm not really ready. If you can board and capture that anti air race, we can use it to shoot down any more incoming drops. Gladly. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> that happened to me before too. I should you gotta watch out near those cliffs there for that exact thing happening. Uh I need more grenades and stuff. So it kinda works out that I fell down here. It's good resupply, I guess. Been better resupply if there was more health, but just have to be careful not to die. Really, I should be careful not to die any time, but especially now. Cluster grenade would be nice. Or not the cluster grenade, but the, um, I can't remember. The one that sucks everything up. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't, go watch part one. Yeah, this is kind of a poorly designed area because there's Alert. a lot of covenant, not a lot of cover. Plasma pistol didn't even work. Red isn't my color. Screw you, just for dropping them off, you're gonna die. And that is the end of that. 
<laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What a freak! Oh, and it's restarted me. I'm cutting that. I've got an idea. It's a dangerous idea. It's really stupid. Thanks, Katana. Starting our approach. But it might just work. I spotted several pillars of smoke in the next valley. Can't promise you, but my guess is that's where we saw those. I think this was designed not to let the wraith go out of here, but certainly like to drive the wraith off of the top of this. Man, Bungie could have taken some lessons from them in Halo 1. Uh, I think this is probably like laid out the exact same length here. I probably won't be able to get off of this either. Uh, nope. There isn't a shorter way down, is there? Uh, maybe. This is a bad idea. Suck it. Oh, yeah. You can shoot them at any time. I think, I think he was getting damaged by his own grenade there. He was just able to jump out of it. Oh, I got cocky. Bob? You okay, Bob? That was my ride, jerk. You guys have a ghost around here or something? You're gonna make me run this, aren't you? So I get for stopping. Brought this on myself, didn't I? I just snipe him through the front of the guy? Oh, no. It's still alive. Why won't you die? Gosh, Jiminy Christmas. Oh well, yeah, I'm in condition ghost though myself, so there's that. Remember before I said it would be really bad if you're not careful uh, and you let your ghost get caught on stuff? Guess who's not taking their own advice? Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. Oh, I don't know. There's an awful lot of covenant there. Ooh. I can shoot him. Ooh.
don't know why I can't hit that one. There we go. This can game, my shots connect. Come on out, be my friend. Please. Just want to give you a little peck on the cheek with my sniper. of those structures before we leave. I was going to try and jump up there. Get the drop on him. I'm not thinking it's worth it anymore, but I want to keep trying anyways because even though it's not worth it, I'm committed. I don't know why I'm not good at Halo anymore. I wonder if it's just something that happened one day. Yeah, I give up. <laughs> This is why I need close range weapons. Sounds like one might have fallen. Yellow dots. The cavalry's arrived. Who was screaming? Why was one of you screaming? Nobody on this side. Yeah. One of them fell. Inside. I think all the Marines just died here then. Jerk. What you get? There's one dot moving. I think one marine survived. Oh! <laughs> There's a bunch of skirmishers here. I wasn't expecting them standing there. I wasn't even paying attention to the uh, radar a whole lot, and as well as I should have been at least. There they were just really sneaky and weren't moving. Where are you dropping guys off at? Are you just gonna keep flying in circles? Couldn't have dropped him off that fast, could you have?
There's a survivor out there somewhere. Who is bleeding red over here? Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Almost empty. Now we got them all. Doesn't seem right. Echo 419 to Cortana. Well, I guess it Come is. In. We read you, Echo 419. We have survivors and need to All right. Roger, Cortana. I'm going to use the focus way. rifle, I guess. I spotted additional lifeboats in your area. Ooh, Warhog. One near a rock slide. And another near the head of the river. Hard to see from my altitude, but it looks like there are more survivors. Acknowledged. We're on our way. Sounds like a like a techno disc or something. She had a warhog. I don't see the marker or anything. Oh, I think it just got dropped off. She's probably picking him up over there, the same spot they used to. I think the marine's gone. She must have picked him up. Oh, yep. There's a warhog. I didn't even see your land. Of course, I was over here playing with the uh, this is bad. Real bad. freaking focus rifle, making music with it. Bump. Bump test. I'm gonna kill all of the uh, blind wolves before they can even do anything. Is there any pistols over here? No. Shotgun something. I gotta put old Yeller down here. Alright, come here, boy. We need to find the other two lifeboats. I'm fine. Some marines hiding in the hills above the structure. See that? Wasted a quarter of my ammo. Well, almost a quarter. Didn't even kill him. It's just like the real focus rifle. It gets more accurate the longer you shoot too, I notice, so that's kinda interesting. It's good against uh grunts and stuff though, I guess. That's 
All right. Look how uh, it's skipping sounds. Uh, good times. I can shoot that one. Oh, okay. Let's get a good weapon, a human weapon. So nice, in fact, you'll hop onto the Warhog. Let's make sure there are no Covenant hiding in the area. Oop. Bump test. Marco. Oh. There it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got you. Marco. Marco. Nothing. Echo 419 okay. For Four on and ready I win. For I, I won Marco Polo. I'm going backwards. Warning. I picked up reports that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. The good news is the captain is still alive. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command crew. Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. This is the one I just came out of, isn't it? I always got turned around at this part when I first played it. That hasn't changed at all. Oh, it's Pete Stacker. That noise doesn't even seem to make any sense right now. It's following me. Oh, shoot. Not regenerating shields either. Oh, there it goes. The last lifeboat is near the cliff edge. Uh, thank you. Obviously, I was having issues finding it here, so I appreciate you telling me. Survivors detected. Marines are concealed in those rocks. Have that for you. Come and take your medicine. Stay on time. My gun's bigger.
All right, guys, just fall back right away. Right there, that's where I killed my eight boots. I'm gonna try it again, although I don't think it's gonna happen. What the fuck was that? Holy shit! What the hell was that? Oh, I'm gonna have to watch that back. Oh, that gave me a heart attack. This really shouldn't be over an hour of gameplay time from this, but... Oh, Jiminy Christmas. I don't remember getting hit so much by those. I guess uh, Warhog was doing a pretty good job at keeping me covered from that fire. No, dropped off the brutes. I didn't get to him with sniper. I didn't even see him drop him off. That was neat, is it my turn?
Like a noob. What a noob. What? Okay, that second time you got knocked over didn't even really make any sense because they didn't shoot you. That's the last of them. Roger that. I'm on my way. New traffic on the Covenant Battle.net. I found Captain Keys. He's well, guys, uh, that's going to be it for Halo. Reconciliation. Um, we go on to our next mission, Truth and Reconciliation, soon. And it's going to be fantastic. I haven't actually played that one yet, so I don't know what to expect. But it's going to be great. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Okay, so there's an automated turret on the inside. That seems kind of dangerous placement for that. Like, somebody's going to get hit in the face by that thing. Look, it's facing inside. That is not... That's not safe at all. We should move out, Lieutenant, and then we'll need your help on a rescue mission. Well, I hope you guys can forgive me for my uh, bad gameplay. <laughs> um, we're going to get to pick out our um, loadout here for this next one. I'm thinking we're going to go with the Silent Sniper and Silent SMG, but we'll see when we get in here. Definitely not this one. Maybe the, I don't know, maybe the Grenadier. Is that a grenade launcher on the battle rifle? Oh, man, a battle rifle with a grenade launcher. That's tempting, too, but I think we're going to go with the silent SMG and stuff. So, you know, actually, with that being said, let's just launch in. We'll check real quick. We'll see what this is like. There's a gravity lift that buries troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once we get inside the So ship, we're fighting alongside ODSTs this time here too. Captain Key's neural implants. And we start off with visor mode. Go, go, go! The core ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. I've detected Covenant stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your rifle to take out the gun while I call for marine support. Get ready to Pretty move interesting to looking ODSTs too. They kind of went and did their own thing with them. Well, the halo reach in there a little bit. Us. Something. Alright guys, I got this. I'm just going to grenade launch it down. You can actually see the re light reflecting off of the ship. That's funny. Okay, guys. Um, 
I will see you around for the next episode, though. Take it easy.